So let's face the reality. Every time you do your keyframes, you want this or few more 13, not actually this or few more 14. And my dear friend, this is all about the keyframe panel, which is exactly the topic that we are going to talk about today in this video, explaining every tiny bit just to make sure that by the end of this video, you are going to do this using your Fumora 14. What's going on everybody, Alex here and welcome to Sequence Masters and of course if you find some value after watching this video my dear friend, don't forget to subscribe, alright? Alright, as we get into the video my dear friend, just for the sake of clarity, allow me to approach this using my little book here, of course with my pen just to bring up a certain illustration that I, I believe is going to make everything clear. Uh, the way I think. So the basic way of it, my dear friend, is uh, every time that you add a keyframe on your video in Filmora, you're just telling the video editor that it should keep the same values until you say otherwise, alright? So right here, you are telling the video editing software to keep a certain particular values of the scale, of the position, and also of the rotation but for now let us just let, let's just exclude the rotation it's not much in in the use all right so let's talk about the scale and the position and of course the scale just refers to the size in similar terms we are talking about the size here how big the file is on the previous screen like in this way as you can see right here all right uh, and the position of course is talks about you know the horizontal and the vertical where the video is on the x-axis and on the y-axis all right all right my dear friend let's say after a course of two minutes or two seconds whatever all right and then you decide to increase the scale of your video all right and then just shift it a little bit so that we can also talk about the position all right and right now as you can see here another keyframe is going to be added right here just to show that you have you are now telling the video editor otherwise than you told them so right now the video editing software or the the, the keyframing system is going to show you that from here to here this video or this file is transformed from these values to these values and this is how it goes all right so are you are you are you understanding something here all right my dear friend so what i want you to understand right now is okay uh, for you to to change the video to affect the video positionally all right for you to affect the video positionally you have to play around with the position keyframes you get that if you use, if you play around with the scale keyframes, you can't expect the video to be moved positionally, horizontal or, you know, axis, x, 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 x. <laughs> All right, so if you are to affect the size of the video, the scale, you know, you have to deal with the scale keyframes. Same applies with the position and also with the rotation, which we have just excluded for now. I want you now, now we are approaching our real subject of today, but I want you to take that understanding, right? That uh, explanation that I've just given you right now to the keyframing panel is just one thing, my dear friend, all right? So what, uh, uh, let, let me just say right now is uh, then I will explain it in, in a demonstration, all right? I have Fimora 13 in another laptop and also Fimora 14 in another laptop. So we, we start from Fimora 13 and then I'll show you in Fimora 14 so that you see exactly why I titled this video that Fimora uh, 14 keyframing panel just got worse and uh, how is the fix and everything about that, all right? So now, let's start right here. Oh, I'm sorry about the audio, my dear friend. I didn't realize that I, I didn't press record on the microphone that is right here, all right? So I, I just have to use the camera audio for that part, all right? I, I'm sorry, but I'm sure it's clear enough for someone to catch the thought that I was trying to explain, all right? So right now, let's move on with the, what I am talking about here, all right? So the idea is think the same way, all right? You have to affect, you have to play around with the position keyframe if you want a smooth position transformation. All right, maybe you didn't get that. All right, let me let me let me repeat that. All right, 
when you change when you transform your video you know uh positionally all right when you change the keyframes the position from this position to this position all right you want this transformation you want this animation to be smooth all right so for you to make this smooth all right make sure that your ease in and ease out your graphs all of these graphs that you are seeing right here make sure they affect the position keyframes all right same applies with the zoom which is the the scale if you want a smooth zoom effect all right make sure that your your is in and is out affects you know the scale keyframes all right so why am i saying that the reason is these keyframes that i'm talking about right now they are in the same place in Fumora 13 all right let's just say jump into Fumora 13 right now all right so that you can see what i am talking about here all right so right here in Fumora 13 all right when you have your video right here in the timeline okay uh you add a keyframe all right i assume that everyone know at least the basics of how to add keyframes you know zoom right here that's why i'm not explaining much about that i'm assuming that a lot of people understand that but if you don't my dear friend maybe it's your very first time to use few more or maybe you don't have enough knowledge about that you can feel free to use uh, i mean to click that video that is showing up right there uh, I just uh, put up the basic, like the basic explanation of the keyframe panel and also keyframes in Fumora uh, 13, about Fumora 13 and you know, it's very, very useful for almost everyone to watch and understand that, alright? Now, when you add a keyframe on your video, right, like in this way here, alright, and then when you open this right here, which is the keyframe panel, assuming that you have zoomed in and you've made these two keyframes apart, this first keyframe and this other last keyframe right here, creating a zoom in, all right, like in this way, just to bring up the illustration that I want to bring to you, all right. Now, when you select right here, this is where you find the keyframe panel in Fumora 13. And if you actually don't know where the keyframe panel is in Fumora 14, uh, don't worry, we will get into that just in a minute. All right, so right now, here yeah, in Fumora 13, this is where you find the keyframe panel. All right, so when you select it right here, you know, you are going to see the keyframes. Okay, let's say, let me just delete that keyframe, you know, this line, this face line only, all right? Just to make it easy for you to catch up. All right. So this first keyframe that you are seeing right here, my dear friend, these are the, the scale keyframes, okay? These are the scale keyframes. These, as you can see, they just, they are representing scale, all right? And right now, uh, this scale that you are seeing right here of course the position the first one being the x and the next one is the y representing the y uh, uh, uh position okay and of course down there is uh, uh, the rotation all right now to bring up my point this is already the easing and ease out the smoothening i mean uh, don't i hopefully it's the right verb you know this is the area where you do your smooth effects and so forth, all right? So that means all the keyframes are here for you to access them, you know, without other options that you do, all right? All the position keyframes, here they are. All the scale keyframes, here they are. So if you select, even if you select all of them at once, like in this way, all right, you actually can do the easing on all of them, you understand? And then after adding another second keyframe right here and we have uh, this zoom again you can again select all of these and affect them with your ease out or maybe it's a continuous curve all right so this is where i want you to get the trick my dear friend because it's not this way in Fumora 14. how is it in Fumora 14 they are not all available at once so you need to do something for you to see the position keyframes, for you to see the scale keyframes and then affect them with your ease in and your ease out. Are you getting something, my dear friend? All right, so we are moving forward. Now, let's say, uh, uh, I think you have understand this very well. Let's move on to Fumora 14 and uh, I will take another laptop for that and I will have to, to put back this laptop and then bring another laptop for few more 14 and then bring the explanation again for you to see exactly how to do that 
all right my dear friend welcome back and right now i am now in femora 14 all right so let's uh, continue with our subject all right all right so right here is this video clip that i have here my dear friend that we are going to use is our example so i'm going to add a keyframe right over here and then after a few frames i will just uh, increase the scale to create that as uh, zoom effect for this one right now let me just shift the video to the left side just to affect the position position as well all right as you can see when i'm moving on the previous screen here uh the position x and the position y are changing values showing that i'm affecting them all right so now after that let's do our issue exactly the keyframing panel as you can see right here there's no option for keyframing panel but don't worry just right select your video in the timeline like this way all right when you do that down here and this is the short keyframe animation all right and right now when it is open the keyframing panel as you can see my dear friend <laughs> it seems like the whole transform table has been brought down to the timeline as you can see all the keyframes the x y and they are showing up right here but this keyframe that you are seeing a, a lot of them they are not the keyframes for you to do the is in and the is out as you can see right here if i try to select any of them there is no option for me to ease them in or ease them out <clears throat> but actually we have to make sure that this little option right here is selected or activated or i i, I don't know the right way for that okay let me say is activated okay then you can see the keyframing two keyframes showing up the first keyframe is the first value and then the second keyframe the second values after the zoom in understood okay now listen more carefully right now if these are the keyframes that you have to affect with your is in and your is out do you notice that there are no position keyframes right here momentarily they are just the scale keyframes the in point i mean the first keyframe and the last keyframe after the zoom okay so which means if you is in and is out these ones this is what result in this zoom why the is in and the is out did not affect the position keyframes so you have just you know uh, is in the scale and is out the scale the position you didn't because it's not right here right away just like femora 13 this is where the complex is this is where the difference with femora 13 is because in femora 13 you are seeing all of the keyframes right there the position key so you can just select them okay all right so right here my dear friend this is how you open okay actually this is how you you make it work for you right as you can see right here you have to select you know the scale keyframe on top over here and then down here in the area of the graphs is the keyframes that will be showing up as you can see right here if you move again up all right and select the position keyframes you find out down in the graph panel is the position keyframe that is showing up and then you can then is it in and then is out the last keyframe all right so what does this mean you don't is them in and out or whatever but you don't do it at the same time okay you have to select one at a time you have to go up here and select the scale keyframe and then down here back uh is showing up the scale keyframes and then you ease that in and then after that you go again and select the position keyframe and then it starts showing up on the graph panel down here and then you select it and then ease it and ease it out again and then if you are also concerned about the rotation you select the rotation up again here and then down here it starts showing up also and then you ease them okay my dear friends so right now let me move on to the trickier part i think i've explained enough about this and you have understood all right if you actually didn't get it right make sure to say something in the comment section so that i can follow you up and see 
where you could understand all right but right now now this is the tricky part that i would like you to understand okay when you select the first keyframes you know to ease it in all right if it is the uh, the scale keyframe that you are easing in all right make sure that when you select the position keyframe if it is the first keyframe you should repeat the same is in all right because this is in is out uh, the cave and the continuous cave they are not the same they don't bring the same effect all right so when you do the is in on an on, on the scale keyframe and then on the position keyframe you do the is out all right you're going to bring out something that is very weird there. you really won't be able to understand that thing all right uh, but you sometimes you may not be able to see it, but you just feel that something is wrong with this animation all right so this is the tip that you have to understand if you are using if on the last keyframe you do the ease out on the scale keyframe make sure you repeat the same and if you also do the rotation make sure you just be uh, i mean you be uniform if you are doing the ease in on the first keyframes do the ease in all right if you are doing the ease out or if you are doing the continuous curve on the last keyframes make sure you repeat the continuous curve all right all right my dear friend if you use this information i'm telling you you are going to do smooth keyframes in Fimora 14 and this is all you need to know about all this and thank you so much my dear friend for watching this video to this very point if you have found some value don't forget to subscribe like and share the content and until i meet you in the next episode peace Okay, let's go. What's what's going what's going on every <coughs> so let's so let's face it. <coughs>